Hello, I am Seamless, and this is going to be a tutorial about frequency modulation synthesis in Citrus, otherwise known as FM synthesis. So, Citrus comes standard in FL, by the way. So if you have FL Studio, you have Citrus. So here's the basic Citrus, just the sine wave out in the note that's very low. I'm going to put this over in the playlist. Whoa, that's later. I'm going to put this in the playlist. Um, so frequency modulation is when you have operators or oscillation generators creating waveforms and whatnot. Um, I use words. They, uh, when, when one modulates one's frequency, like the, the hertz of one operator modulates the frequency of the other based on their frequency. Yeah. So here we, I'm going to put in operator two into operator one. So two is modulating one. I'm going to turn the ratio to zero and raise the hertz offset just so you can hear very basically what the effect is. So that's what that is. It's modulating the frequency, the frequency. However, okay, so if you set the uh, ratio to be normal like that, the reason why it's a ratio is so that when you play different notes, the ratio is the same, so the pitch, like the apparent pitch that we're hearing remains constant. Remains like a, you know, a playable thing, as opposed to just noise. So there's that. Now in Citrus, if you go into the, the, the this setup, by the way, is carrier and modulator, as in operator one is the carrier sound. That's being modulated by the modulator, operator two. So in the carrier, we can determine the amount of modulation by going into the mod window and have your various ways of doing it. You can make an envelope that follows it. You can make an LFO. You can do key and velocity and unison and random. I actually don't even, not 100% clear on what these do, but that's okay because we're going to use modulation onto modifier X. So that means that if we play it, Good stuff. So now I'm also going to make a uh, animation clip just to have a constant source of modulation going so we can hear what's, hap what's happening. Good stuff. Now, if you noticed, that didn't sound very sharp over in the, the, the sharp moments because I have smooth over here. Smooth, I had that on. Turn it off. Good stuff. So now, um, why why FM synthesis should be interesting to you, if you don't already know, is because a lot of the popular modern EDM bass sounds that we hear in high-level productions are FM synthesis. And um, the kind of the kind of sound is like a very talky, growly, sort of grungy kind of sound. And we get that when you modulate a carrier with a modulator that has more or higher than just basically a different frequency. It's not the same frequency. So I'm going to do put some, some, some of that in there. Like that. And already you can hear how that works. Now, just for the ba basic usage, I find that um, having a triangle wave in your modulator is pretty good. Now this window here, um, the OSC window, is a mini additive engine that's built into Citrus that's not unlike Harmer and how it works, where these all represent harmonics uh, that when you turn on, the amplitude is set and the harmonic shape is determined by the uh, waveform type that you have up here that you define through the very awesome morphing engine that Citrus has. So we just play this. Super Ultra Omega Basic. So you can, that's that's how the, the series just basically works. Like you could just take this and run with it and make all kinds of awesome stuff. So how you can run with it, I'll just show you some neat things. So um, the carrier modulator setup here with the carrier sound, the modulator can be layered upon where, you, the, where the modulator is the carrier of another modulator. So like for example, we could put in three, put it into two, just a little bit because, like, I'll show you what happens when you don't. 
Yeah, so it's a bit. Just be careful, you know, mod, uh, moderation in your modulation. Yeah. So you can do cool things like you can control the individual volumes of operators outside of the modulation input. Like you know, you can use modulation while you do that. <laughs> You can have all kinds of fun with that sort of stuff. Um, you can also change up like the frequency ratio. <laughs> carefully as well. Um, all just manner of interesting things that you can do. Especially with this morphing capability. That's just... <laughs> yeah. Now, keep in mind, this is all just basic generation there's no filters there's no effects on it it's just frequency modulation going on right now so imagine what you can do when you do add effects like an effect for example like doing the harmer resampling process that was covered in the previous tutorial video that i posted um you can do a lot of cool things and end up with extremely cool sounding things like for example these two examples that i have here <laughs> Yeah. That was all just Citrus and Harmer together. I don't remember how many steps. I don't even remember, like, I think actually um, the first one, the louder one, had distortion on the Citrus before it went into the Harmer. So experiment with that kind of stuff. Um, another cool thing you can do is you can uh, set up a, a pitch phase effect. Um, I'll just do a demonstration of that. So... Because 3 is going into 2, 2 is now a composite modulator of 3 and 2 that goes into 1. So I could also put 2 into a new uh, operator out, like 4, and it will also carry over the effect of 3. So going into 4, we have to make sure that we have to set up the modulation X like that, so that it has the same effect. <laughs> and if we go and... Uh... Okay, video freaking out. It's nice. Oh, it's back. All right. If we change the uh, pitch ratio, we get phase cancellation. Um, so to avoid that, we reverse the polarity of the two input into four. We do that by just doing this. Like the knob is, usually goes out to 100%, go to negative 100%, and then you have reverse polarity. And the sound still works. Now, it was not terribly apparent with the uh, automation setup that we have there, but this is the effect that, we're, that we got. You hear how the, there's a little bit of a wob going on in there? That's not um, solely FM synthesis things. That's, that'll happen to any sound sources you do that you switch up the pitch a little bit. Um, so that's, and it'll, it'll keep up, because we're doing it with a frequency ratio and not offset, um, it'll keep up, uh, on every note like that. It'll, it'll, it'll get faster or slower based on how that goes. Um, if you want to do something like control the, that effect based on, like, um, like modulation Y, or modifier Y, for example, we can go into pitch and just slightly do that. So let's, let's see what that sounds like if we just play the... Modulation, or modifier Y is also um, controlling the volume of this guy. So it's creating different things. But you, you, got, the, you got the idea. You saw how the pitch wob um, changes based on the modifier of Y because it controls the pitch of output operator 4. Good stuff. Now, other fun things you can do with um, morphing abilities, because as well as the modulation input of one controlling the overall input modulation of every carrier, or every modulator that you can put into it, which are all of these, um, you can also control the individual volume of operators. So this, can, this creates interesting morphing capabilities that I will illustrate by going into a new default, just because I, I want these to be clear. So let's make two 
into something average being less crazy I don't know if I covered this yet but um, the, the this is the harmonic amplitude these lines up here and then over here is the phase of each harmonic it's like that you can see how that works and just play around with that you can do cool things <laughs> ouch uh, I forgot to wait it's already linked why is there two Paying attention to my own tutorial, yeah. Cool, and now let's make three. So if we have these running, right, so we go in the volume, and we make the Y modifier opposite in each of these, so that means that when we move Y, it'll change between the volume of these two into one. So... Not the best example, but you can see how that could be something cool. Put on smooth. The tonal possibilities are pretty extensive with this kind of thing. Yeah. So, I think I covered everything I need to cover about how this works. Uh, oh yeah, so there's this little button down here I discovered today that exists. Because I just literally never looked down there. But um, it has a whole separate matrix just for ring modulation. Now, ring modulation is like frequency modulation, where the frequency of the modulator operator will alter the uh, an aspect of the carrier. But in ring modulation, instead of the frequency, it, uh, it, it modulates the amplitude or the volume. That creates interesting effects because of how fast it is. Um, it's actually called ring modulation because it's the, 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 the circuit type that originally could do this in analog synthesizers was like a ring, something like that. Someone told me that once, but the, the uh, um, I have literally never messed with that, so I have no idea what it'll do if uh, you screw with it. So that's something to experiment with, however. But I mean, just with FM synthesis and a little bit of like the harmony thing on top, you can make absolutely everything that you've ever heard ever. Like it's pretty pretty extensive, and with the morphing stuff that you can do with uh, multiple modifiers modulating everything ever, you can just it's just amazing how much crap you can make. Um, so if for some reason you're watching this tutorial and you don't have FL Studio with which Citrus comes standard, uh, you can do this kind of thing with FM8, which a lot of the super super high up producers make use. They have said that they use FM8 as the same kind of like a matrix setup. It doesn't have the additive engine built into it for resynthesis of single cycle waveforms. It also doesn't have the waveform morphing abilities up here it has a bunch of preset waveforms and you can also put in more waveforms that you find or create yourself um so it's pretty capable but i like citrus better and i also think it's more powerful and with the harmer stuff like we can you can just use citrus and harmer and you can make world-class amazing bass yeah um like that and like that. Um, I'm losing my mind here, so I actually have no idea what else I should be covering. I think I have everything that you need that you could could need to just go on and fly under the power of your own FM journey. Uh, I haven't really done anything with it, like song-wise. Um, I'm actually, I actually, uh, yeah, I haven't really done much of it because I've been doing metal stuff with my band, but um, now nah, I'm just rambling, you know, not really saying anything. So I guess the tutorial's over. Uh, you guys can tell me if you have any questions and I'll answer them to the best of my ability or point you somewhere that will answer them correctly. Indeed. Don't forget the harmer stuff. The harmer stuff's important. <laughs>